Hi everyone, today we are making a sous vide chicken breast. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, please check out some of my other videos and hit that subscribe button. Welcome back everybody else. So, uh, I have a chicken breast. Uh, we're going to put it in the uh, sous vide water bath and, uh, and cook it. Um, so chicken breast. In my world, it's kind of a swear word almost. Like I just, I guess it's all the years of dieting, low fat, Weight Watchers, you know, all those things that someone of my age did all through their, you know, starting when you're a teenager. Um, chicken, skinless chicken breast or a can of tuna. Those are the two things that you, if you're, like nobody eats them unless they're on some kind of a, almost a starvation diet. At least that's kind of how I was feeling about chicken breast. So I swore when trying out the protein sparing modified fast that I would never eat a skinless chicken breast. I can hardly wait to eat this one because I had one that I did with the sous vide and it does not taste like any chicken breast I've ever made. I will never be able to eat a chicken breast, a skinless chicken breast, and maybe even a skin on, I don't know. I will not ever be able to eat a chicken breast unless it's cooked the way that I'm about to cook it. So it's, it's mind blowing how different it is. So today, um, and it cooks really fast too compared to a roast or a steak. Perfect for protein sparing, perfect for any time, I mean, you know, it's so good I would eat it any time. So I, I, I just want to talk about the bags for a moment first though. Um, in my last couple of sous vide videos, I think I've, I, I've done maybe two or three, I'm not sure. Um, but I've been using the Ziploc bags and, and they are uh, BPA, if, if you're going to use Ziploc bags, the ones you want to use are BPA free microwave safe. So these are apparently safe up to 158 degrees. And most sous vide is below that point. However, some people still have issues with the plastic. Um, they are single use as well. So uh, they get thrown away uh, after you do a sous vide and you know, that's not good for the planet. So a one solution are these silicon bags. I got these from Amazon and I have tried them out and I'm pretty happy with them. So the, the ones that I, I got a kit of bags and they came in three sizes, this very small one, maybe a pork chop would fit in there or a couple of chicken thighs or something, I don't know. I got this medium sized one, which is perfect for a steak. In fact, you'll notice there is a frozen steak in here. I, this is a sous vide steak it is fully cooked, medium rare. All it needs is for me to uh, take it out one night when I need it, thaw it out, and I could even thaw it out in, in here, um, and then sear it and I've got a steak. Uh, I made three that day and so I, I threw this extra one in the freezer. Um, so it's, it's frozen in its own juices. Um, and then this is uh, something that could be used for a larger steak. So uh, also I've been washing them in the dishwasher. They are good for up to 400 degrees. They are better for the environment because you're reusing them over and over again. And um, I'm quite happy with how when you lower it into like my concern was the air because you you know you want to get out as much air as you can which is fairly easy to do you just sort of squish it out when you lower these into the pot it just seems to conform itself to the meat somehow i i, I don't know why it works that way but i've been pretty happy with it so okay, let's just get the pot going first we want to cook this warmer than we would a steak. We're going to go with 147 degrees for one hour. 
so it cooks pretty quick. If you have a huge chicken breast, you could go a little bit longer. If you have a small one, you could go for 45 minutes. Um, everywhere I saw it was between 45 minutes and an hour and 30 minutes. And uh, so I'm gonna do this one for one hour. And uh, let's get this machine going here. So 147, and we're going to go for one hour. Okay. So one tip I wanna share with you is you don't have to start off with cold water in this pot. You can put hot water in here and that way it only takes a few minutes to warm up. Um, this is an instant pot liner. You can use a cooking pot. Um, you, uh, the real sous vide enthusiasts, they use this big plastic bin so they can line up their steaks and cook many multiple things. This cooks three or four steaks comfortably or um, a, a decent sized roast can cook in here. This is a six quart instant pot. This is my Instant Pot Circulator Wand. I think that, uh, sous vide circulator. Yeah, I call it a wand, I don't know. It's a magic wand. Um, and that's really all you need. Um, if you use these bags, something to clip the bags to the side. The other thing I like about these bags is they just like literally, when it has a steak in there and it's in the water, it just literally sits there and it holds the stake in place, which is really cool. So no clip required. As far as what I put on this chicken breast, I sprinkled some of my salt and pepper mixture, a sprinkling of dried thyme, and I splashed a little bit of lemon juice. That's the liquid that you're seeing there. Let's kind of give it a little bit of a lemon thyme flavor. So it literally is all I, I put on. The other thing I'm going to mention while that is heating up is that on my phone, I put a free app on it. It's called Jewel, J-O-U-L-E. I am probably pronouncing that wrong. So I, I know that uh, you guys will correct me, but it's an app that it's free and you don't even have to sign in. I never sign in, I just, it lets you skip that part so you don't have to join anything to use it. So the app, um, when you go into it, you choose between beef, seafood, poultry, pork, lamb, you know, so on and so forth. And uh, so uh, say you wanted to cook um, a steak, you can go into beef, uh, basic steak, and it gives you a time range depending on you know what what you're doing so if you go to temperature it gives you some choices and as you change the choices it actually shows you what that steak will look like so uh, you know the the higher temperature you go the the grayer your steak gets so I kind of like to be over here somewhere. I usually go one step down below what they recommend because um, I'm always happiest then. And then once you have chosen your temperature, you s go to time and it gives you suggestions based on how thick your steak is. So a half inch steak is going to be 30 minutes at that temperature. Um, a bigger steak will be one hour, 30 minutes, two inches, two hours. So it's kind of handy to get a guide for it. Now, this is assuming the steak is, you know, your, your basic, um, like a ribeye or something that's somewhat decent. Um, the eye of round steaks that I cooked, they really needed six hours to get tender. This app, like so you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt and and I ended up googling to try to figure out how long to cook it but for the chicken it was bang on I cooked a chicken breast for an hour and a bit and was really happy with the results so uh, this chicken breast is only an inch thick and could be cooked in 45 minutes I'm gonna give it that extra 15 minutes I've got my bag here and I'm going to put it in the bag while we're waiting for this to heat up. 
and just I'm going to try to get it down nice and low into the bag. When I uh, lower it into the water later, this this will there won't be much air in there at all, and uh, and and it's quite. At first, I thought these were going to be hard to work with, but it's actually quite easy to slide these these zippers on, and they're very tight. So um, I'm I'm pretty pretty pleased with how small items do with this. Uh, I don't know if I can get a bigger one to do a roast, but I will look on Amazon and see. Um, because if I could get one, then that would be great. Oh, we are just about at temperature here. I think we are at temperature. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to lower this in. And I'm going to put my zipper thingy on and then I just leave it alone for an hour and it, it just kind of sits into place um, I don't the smaller one I don't know what it would do uh, this one seems to lean on the edges um, so I'll have to try something in the smaller one but the medium sized one seems to be the one that I've been using the most Okay, I'll see you back in an hour. I will cut it open and see what we get. I think it's going to be succulent and juicy. Okay, this is done. So now I can take it out. Bag will be wet. Okay. Mm, now I can smell the chicken. Look at that. Actually, it looks like it grew a little bit while it was in there. I know it didn't, but... Okay, I'm not even going to sear this or anything. Normally, when I make a chicken breast like this, I'm, I am I just cut it into thin slices because I'm, I'm just going to eat it like that or use it in something or shred it. Um, but I just want to... Actually, I'm going to cut it right in the middle so you can see how how fat and juicy it is. When you, when you squeeze it, I mean, there's juices coming out of it. But anyways, I'm going to take a bite. I mean, normally when I make a chicken breast, it doesn't poof up like this. It gets smaller <laughs> because it is so dry. that literally melted in my mouth. I mean, I, I'm just blown away. You have to try this. Where's Teddy? Where is Teddy? I mean, I don't even think I need a knife. Look at that. Where, where else can you eat chicken breast with a fork and no knife? This is amazing. Mm. Teddy, where are you? Oh, you're just ready and waiting. Just ready and waiting. Yes. I know it's not steak, but isn't it yummy? Yummy. Okay, so uh, there it is. I mean, this was a fast and simple video. I really hope you try this because this is a game changer for protein sparing. Total game changer. I'm I'm gonna do a turkey breast in here at some point over the next couple months. Like that, this is insane how moist and juicy this is. So I don't know what else to say. So it, I, oh, I wanted to ask if you have something that you want me to try in the sous vide or demonstrate or whatever, let me know um, because I don't I don't know how many sous vide videos I'm going to do. I might. I might do a seafood one, um, but I, I mean, I just brought it out to show you guys um, another way to make lean protein taste good and use it for protein sparing. So if you have some ideas, if you want me to do something else, I would love to hear them. Otherwise, I'll, I, I may just move on to other things. Um, so 
unless I'm cooking it for myself anyways and then then maybe I'll do a video or or whatever so yeah just let me know and I hope you do give this a try and we will see you on the next video This is really weird. This is the first video we've done where nothing went wrong. There's no bloopers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>